Hello, Aries. This is an X rating for the 3rd through the 9th. And this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please, you guys, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull some Romance Angels cards first. So this is a little bit different, a little new for you guys. Let's change it up a little bit. All right, first card we have is You Deserve Love. You are lovable. Okay. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Then we have wedding. Hmm. This situation involves marriage. Hmm. So maybe in a marriage, for some of you, um, you know, you're feeling like this, this, this lack, like you have been contributing more than your spouse, okay? Maybe for some of you who, um, this is an X reading, um, maybe for some of you there is a possible marriage or wedding that is supposed to take place or was supposed to take place and maybe you know there's some unrequited love at this point okay so let's go ahead and pull some tarot and see what other messages we get from this okay let's see in the past you deserve love you are lovable hmm yeah Initially, I see there was a strong attraction for someone that um, that you started a relationship with here, okay? You felt, um, I, I feel like you felt very sure about this person, okay? And then you have the Five of Cups here where you are right now. I feel like, um, you know, there you feel like there's a spark that's lost maybe because of uh, the distance that's between the two of you right now um, feeling like the love is not there feeling like this person is no longer attracted to you possibly feeling very regretful about some of the things that you've done um, and that may include um, you know maybe being there for somebody that wasn't there for you or either you left somebody behind and now you're feeling like maybe you should not have done that okay one of the two or somebody's feeling that way about you because it could go vice versa guys okay 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 so where you are right now or what you want rather because this is what you want um, of course what you want is not to feel left out in the cold but in this particular tarot deck, it depends on where it's, where, you know, what cards it's lying by. But for me, this is you wanting somebody to be there through thick and thin and, and you be there for them. It's like, you know, you want to have that equal exchange with somebody to where you're not loving them more than they're loving you and vice versa. You know, you just want to be uh, on one accord with someone. All right. Let's see what it is that you guys need. Yeah, I feel like you need to speak the truth. Whatever, whatever it is that you feel in your heart, um, I feel like you need to talk about this. Now, I get the feeling that this is actually the person that you're dealing with. Um, wanting to say something to you this is what I'm getting I feel like there's somebody here who either you were married to or that you had a very strong um, commitment with that really wants to engage with you um, and they may feel like you know they deserted you and that you may feel you know some kind of way about them as you should if that is indeed what happened here um, but you know there is po a possibility that some of these individuals may come to you with an extreme offer of marriage even 
because this Knight of Swords is laying right on top of um, wedding. Okay, so quite quite possibly. All right, look at the outcome. Yeah, for some of you, this does really and truly involve a proposal because the Knights come in with an offer. And this is what the outcome is like, you know, you truly being in love with somebody and it being reciprocated here with the two of cups. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with um, the person that you're dealing with now. Let's see what they are coming from in the past. Let's see. Hmm. I feel like this person really loves you. I feel like they, um, at one point, they were emotionally stable. Um, I'm not sure how they are right now, but we'll pull, pull more cards and see what, where they are. But I feel like this person really loves you and was very, very attracted to you um, and you them. Okay? And I feel like, you know, they may not have had the balls to do it, but at one point, they really did want to... Um, start over with you. Let's see where they are right now. Hmm. Um, they, they've come upon some information, whether it is is coming from within them or whether they have actually received some information from someone else. But they are aware, I feel, um, if they weren't before, of the strong feelings that they have towards you. Okay, let's see what they want. Very attracted to you. Still very attracted to you, I feel. Yeah, what they want, I feel, you know, at this point, I think that they want to approach this connection from a more intellectual standpoint versus um, an emotional standpoint like they want to reason with you possibly because of this um, this five of Pentacles they, they possibly want to give you an explanation of why they did what they did possibly they want to explain to you that they are still attracted to you that they had nothing to do with the reason why they left why they possibly even ghosted you okay for sure. Let's see what they need. I feel like they need you. <laughs> this is an Aries card, but I feel like they need, um, literally, they feel like they need you in their life. Um, they, they feel like they need to tell you this. They feel like they need to hurry up and tell you this. They feel like they're on a time frame. frame. They want stability with you. And I feel like that's also what they want to talk about is the fact that um, if they weren't ready for commitment before, I feel like they are now. And that is another thing that they have realized here. Okay. Let's see what the outcome is for them. Yeah, I feel like they will, they will tell you this at some point. Um, I feel like they're a little intimidated um, and I think it's just because of the way that things were left um, between the two of you and they're very they're very conflicted over how to approach you I feel um, they're conflicted over you know how you may receive them how you may react to them and I really strongly feel for a lot of you that this person will come with an offer of marriage. If it's not an offer of marriage, it's, go it's going to be, um, you know, moving in or just solidifying the commitment, solidifying, you know, their place in your life, okay, if it's not a marriage. All right, so that is what I have for you, Aries, for the third through the ninth, and I'll speak with you soon. Bye now.